Are you tired of feeling overwhelmed and stuck in your current situation? Then it's time for a mindset reset. Join me in my six-part mindset reset training and learn how to overcome the negative thought patterns that are holding you back. With my proven techniques and strategies, you'll be able to cultivate a positive mindset and start living the life of abundance you absolutely deserve and desire. Don't allow overwhelm to hold you back any longer. Take control of your mindset and transform your life today. Hi, my name is Jay Nixon, and I'm the author of the best-selling weight loss book, The Overweight Mind. Over the years, I've helped countless clients from all over the world transform their lives by improving their mindset. Through my work, I've come to understand that the key to any transformation lies in the power of the mind. As I've seen in firsthand, a positive and empowered mindset that can be the catalyst for profound change in all areas of your life. That's why I'm excited to share with you my insight, strategies, and tools for transforming your mindset and living the life you truly desire. By focusing on the power of your mind, you can overcome obstacles, break through limiting beliefs, and achieve your goals, whether it's losing weight, building the dream career you've always wanted, or improving your relationships. So join me on this journey of transformation and discover the power of your own mind to create the life you deserve. If you'd like more information about me, my studio, my program, or my supplement line, you can go to thriveforeverfit.com, find all the information, all my social media links, everything. Let's jump into the training. Welcome to training number one of the Mindset Reset, Fearless and Free. I'm going to give you two simple techniques to conquer your fears and live your best life. Here's the truth. We are constantly living in a state of fear by being surrounded by the news, social media, and just your environment. Most people have mastered disappointment in living within that comfort zone that's really not a comfort zone at all. It's a chaos zone. So instead, I'm going to teach you how to master change live within abundance, and create the life that you need to live in order to be happy, healthy, and wealthy. All right, here we go. And today's training is going to be super simple. Today's training is going to be so digestible, so implementable, and immediately utilize these techniques in order to make your life better tomorrow. If that's not actionable, if that's not disruptive in this, into this survival mode that we're living in, I don't know what is. So I'm excited about it. So today we're going to talk about overcoming fear with two simple, two simple techniques. Here's the truth. Most of us have mastered disappointment and comfort zones instead of mastering change. Because what happens? Change is uncomfortable, like I just said. Change brings about this feeling of uncertainty and oftentimes a human will settle on certainty, even if it's not what we want. Even if we don't want this thing, we at least know what it is. We at least know how it feels. Even if we don't like the way it feels, oftentimes we'll program ourselves to settle for that. Guys, it's why we settle for most things in life. It's why we settle for a physical body that's not what we want it to be. It's why we settle for a job that we really don't like, but we know what the paycheck is. We know how much money we're going to make at the end of two weeks. And so we keep that job. It's why we stay in relationships that aren't really fruitful and aren't really amazing and beautiful and abundant, but at least we know what it is. We know what the fight's going to be about. We know what it's going to feel like. And that uncertainty is what scares us. And so what I'm, one of the things I'm going to help you get over is that fear of uncertainty. Because if you'll use these techniques, the uncertainty kind of fades away and you become more, you start to use your evolved brain. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to picture your brain, just cut down the middle. And this isn't factual. This is, this is very simplistic. I want you to picture your brain in two halves, an evolved side and an elementary side. Now, obviously, just through those two words, you can see which, which side of the brain would be more beneficial for you to use, right? It's that evolved brain. But when fear is activated, guess what it does? It shuts down the evolved brain. It turns it off and it activates the elementary brain. 
And the elementary brain is very simplistic. This is the brain most of us have been functioning with and using to drive our decisions, to drive our outcomes for the last two years. And the elementary brain says things like this, well, what if this happens and this is never good? What if I lose money? What if I fail? What if I get judged? What if the what if I get sick? What if this? What if this? What if this? And it's never a positive what if. And that's the elementary brain. And that's what the elementary brain is designed to do. It's actually a defense mechanism that's set up inside of us by God and the universe to keep us out of trouble. But we're not designed to live in that brain. It's also referred to as the caveman brain. So when you were a caveman or your ancestors were a caveman and you got chased by a saber-toothed tiger, you needed to be able to think very simplistically, saber-toothed tiger, tiger, run like hell, right? There's no need for analytical thought in that process. It's just get yourself out of that situation. But what's happening is we're living in that elementary level brain and that's not ever going to produce us happiness. It's designed to get us out of trouble. It's designed to get us out of harm's way. But what's happening is we're living as if we're in harm's way every single day. And you can imagine what that does internally to your body, just not psychologically, but physically. Many of you aren't feeling physically well right now. And a lot of that is predicated on the quality of your mindset. Your brain is in this chaos mode which is eliciting all kinds of, this isn't a health and fitness class, but it's eliciting all kinds of hormonal changes, adrenaline, norepinephrine, epinephrine, dopamine, serotonin. Your body is going bananas in the most radical chemistry experiment that anybody has ever seen because of what's happening in your elementary brain. So what we've got to do is we've got to shut that elementary brain off and begin to use our evolved brain, which actually gives us the ability to have rational and productive and powerful and positive thoughts. Now, I've taught this before. I call it six by six creates the fix, and it's a simple technique. But I'm going to tell you a story of how I've used this technique in the last seven days. So here's what it is. And it works every single time, anytime worry, doubt, anxiety, and stress are presented to you. All you do is you take six deep breaths in through your nose as slowly as you can, and then you exhale them in the same controlled fashion as if you were breathing through a small tube. Six by six will empower you and allow you to objectively observe the situation while setting your intentions on what the desired outcome is. You will be in control. So here's what happened to me. Last weekend or last Sunday, I actually, I got to speak at one of my first live events since for two years. Um, I've spoken on stages in front of thousands of people. This was the first time I was going to speak in over two years. I didn't know what the crowd was going to be like. I didn't know the size of the crowd. I didn't know anything. So I walk in about 30 minutes before my set and there's a lot of people, there's hundreds of people in there and anxiety hit me like a baseball bat. I was, my breath got a little bit shorter. I started to feel a little bit of tingling, that little butterflies you feel in your stomach before you go play the big game or have that big audition or the interview or whatever it is. And I thought to myself, I'm like, okay, man, this is, this is the universe. This is God giving you the opportunity to show that you're not full of shit. You're about to use all of your strategies, techniques, and tips that you teach people on yourself. And that's exactly what I did. Lori was with me. I got all my gear and everything. I'm ready to go. I'm pumped up. She's like, you know what you're going to say? And I'm like, I'm going to say a lot, but I don't know what it's going to, I don't know what's going to come out of my mouth. But I got that anxiety feeling. I got that overwhelmed feeling. I was allowing the situation to be bigger than who I was. And so I simply did this. I put my ear, I put my ear pods in. Um, I listened to a little bit of, of motivational, inspirational music that I always loved. It gets me kind of pumped up. And then I did my six by six breath. I took six deep breaths in through my nose, blew them out very slowly and very controlled. And every time I did that, every time I took a breath and every time I blew it out, I simply said this phrase, you were born for this. You were born for this. You were born for this. And my, my blood pressure, heart rate, anxiety, depression went from here to here, took my ear pods out, 
And I just simply said, like, this is what I'm supposed to do. I'm here for a reason. And I'm going to give this amazing group of humans the best version of Jay Nixon that they could possibly want. And it was amazing how just that simplicity of a technique brought me from a state of anxiety to a state of 100% focused and control. And I've done that a thousand times, guys. I do it before calls like this. I do it before meetings. I do it before anything and everything that gets me feeling that sense of overwhelm. And so what I want you to do is I want you to start utilizing this in every scenario and every situation that you step into over the course of the next week. And then I want it to become so normal for you that when your brain registers conflict, when your brain registers anxiety, when your brain registers challenge, fear, whatever it is that you simply say, I was born for this. And you take those six deep breaths in and you take those, let those six deep breaths out and you get yourself centered. Now, listen, if you take those six deep breaths in and six deep breaths out and it doesn't work immediately, pause, reset and do it again. See, what it does is it actually physically changes your brain chemistry. It actually deactivates the elementary brain and activates the evolved brain. So you can actually see things as they are instead of worse than they are. So that's what happened. When I walked in, my elementary brain kicked in. saber tooth tiger is all of those people that I'm about to have to get on stage and speak in front of, and I haven't spoken in front of a stage like that in over two years. So my elementary brain kicked in, and it was fight or flight mode, like, maybe I should just run. Well, the truth of the matter is I couldn't run. And so I had to have a technique. I had to have a strategy to get myself back into that evolved brain that says, I'm born for this. You see the difference? Holy shit, there's a lot of people in here. I'm overwhelmed. I'm born for this with a simple strategy. And I know a lot of you are thinking, Jay, that cannot possibly work. Here's what I'm going to ask you to do. Try it. What do you have to lose? What do you have to lose? And try it on anything and everything. Try it before a conversation. Try it before your next work call. Try it before you go into Walmart. Try it before anything and everything. And I promise you, you will start to see a shift in the way that you're processing information. And things that you were perceiving as overwhelming and too big aren't that big at all. All right, deal? That's number one. Number two is what I call AIA. So it's awareness, intention, and action. So here's the deal. A lot of, most of the time, our awareness isn't in tune with the actual event that's going on because we're so pre-consumed with outside noises. We're pro, so pre-consumed with, with outside conflict and outside inputs that have no bearing on the individual decision that we're about to make. It's like oftentimes when you get in an argument or a disagreement, it's rarely just that small snippet of, of conversation or miscommunication that created your exacerbation. It's all of the cumulative inputs that you've been absorbing all day that exacerbate your behaviors. And so if your awareness can get in tune and you can realize that, you'll be able to audit those inputs, actually see the awareness in the moment, and that will change your perception of the event and it will also change your reaction to that event. And so here's the simplicity of this, using awareness, intention, and action to disrupt a negative fear pattern allows you to control your state and use adversity or fear, or challenge, or obstacle as a focuser, which will propel you forward, and you'll be able to use the obstacle as your advantage. AIA will change your life if you use it and make it part of your daily practice. It will actually help you create a momentum mindset, right? So if you guys have listened to any of my trainings at all in the past, you know that I believe, that I teach and I preach that momentum and one of my coaches always says momentum is the magic multiplier, meaning once you get momentum moving in the right direction, it will magically multiply your success, your happiness, your abundance, all the things, the opportunities. 
But here's the caveat to that. Momentum can go in the wrong direction as well. And so what we've got going on right now is we've got momentum headed in the wrong direction with all of the fear and anxiety and overwhelm and chaos. And so all we need to do is put the brakes on that by using an AIA system, the awareness, the intention, and then the action so that we can actually use momentum to our advantage instead of our disadvantage. So the key to, the key to this awareness is that you must use you must use it in a space of zero judgment or justifications for the way you're feeling. Your thoughts in that moment are most likely coming from your elementary brain. And remember that brain is the brain of a caveman. And so if you viewed yourself as a caveman and you said, okay, these aren't my pure and intentional thoughts. These are thoughts based on fight or flight. These are thoughts based on my elementary brain. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna use my six by six breathing technique and I'm gonna shift my brain from elementary to evolved which is going to then allow me to have a new awareness about the scenario and the situation. And then your intention will be to move through the situation using it to create a desired outcome. See, oftentimes when we react, we don't think about the desired outcome. But if we, if we reverse engineered the scenario and we said, what do I want out of this interaction? What do I want out of this information? What do I want out of this transaction? And if we reversed engineered that, we'd respond differently. So based on the intention of what you want, the intention to move forward toward a desired outcome, you have to ask yourself, what's one small action that I could take? And if I know the outcome, then it's easier for me to adjust and understand the action that's necessary to get that outcome. But if I don't start from an outcome perspective and I just react using my elementary brain, what's gonna happen? more chaos, more overwhelm, more fear, more anxiety, more depression, more of all of those things, guys. So momentum and motivation are not without fear. They're just utilizing the fear to focus you. So if you can learn how to use fear as a focuser and tap into your awareness, then harness the power of the intention of what you want from the outcome that's going to help you create the small actionable changes that you need to get yourself out of that elementary into the evolved and into a better decision. You will no longer be paralyzed and paused in your journey. And you're actually going to start to create. You guys notice how I keep using the word create. It's like I said in the beginning of the call, everything you need is internal. There's no external stimuli that's going to give you what you need to create the happiness in your life. You're going to have to make the decision. You wouldn't be here if you weren't ready to make that decision. You wouldn't be here if you weren't ready to shift your level of thinking and start using the power that you have inside of you to create the life that you truly want to live. Most of us are living a life over the last two years that is not the one that we want to live. It's the life that we perceive that we're supposed to live based on what we've been told. And the last piece of today is this. I want you guys to understand there's, there's two different forms of mindset. You can have a fear-based mindset or you can have a freedom-based mindset. Pretty simplistic, right? You could even break these down into elementary, which is going to be your fear-based mindset. Evolved is going to be your freedom-based mindset. And so here's just a simple way to look at things. The fear-based mindset looks at a challenge as it must be avoided. The freedom evolved brain embraces the challenge because it uses the strategies and techniques that I taught you and understands that once I learn how to overcome that challenge, and really guys, all a challenge is an unanswered question. And all an, all an unanswered question is, is you haven't used the right resources. It's why you're here today. It's why you're going to be here for the next three days. You're going to have the opportunity to ask me any question that you want. That's going to be, that's going to open the door. It's going to answer questions that are challenges for you right now. We're going to solve those challenges by answering those questions. And that adversity that you're going through is now going to become an advantage for you. A fear-based or elementary mindset looks at obstacles as I should probably just give up. It's not worth it. A freedom-based evolved mindset looks at it as listen persistence and creation of momentum is going to help me move forward and not consistently be set back in the things that I want out of my life. Fear-based mindsets 
don't think the effort's worth it. A freedom-based mindset knows they have to push through the adversity. And this is what I want you guys to understand right now. We have to push through this adversity, but you don't have to do it alone. See, that's the beautiful thing right now is I think right now a lot of us feel isolated. A lot of us feel like, I don't even know what to do. But here's the promise. You don't have to do it on your own. Your team of people, your circle of success is necessary to get you to the place and space that you deserve to be in life. So here's my promise. Use the two things I told you today. Use the six by six. Use the AIA for the next 24 hours. We're going to meet right back here tomorrow night, same time, same place. If you're listening on recording, it's going to be available again. I'm going to give you some new strategies, new techniques, new tips. I'm going to help you create a toolbox full of tools that are utilizable at any adversity, any fear, any challenge, any overwhelm, any anything that doesn't provide you the outcome that you're desiring. Here's what I want you to write down. I deserve to be happy. And in the deserving of that happiness, you have to understand that you can create that level of happiness regardless of what adversities you're facing right now. Here's my promise to you. If you will, I say this a lot. The quality of your life, guys, will be predicated on the quality of the questions you ask. And I don't believe that there's a bad quality question and so if you're, in, if you're in adversity right now, if you're in challenge that seems overwhelming, if you've got chaos in your life that you're just unsure of how to get out of, you don't know how to create that next step of momentum. We're going to have a QA and a on Thursday. It's going to be at 10 o'clock in the morning Pacific Standard Time. I know a lot of you won't be able to attend that live, but all you're going to need to do is submit your questions. You can post them down below in the comments. You can send me a DM. You can send Marissa a DM. You can ask that question anywhere you want. It can be private. It can be public. I don't care. But here's my ask of you. Ask the questions that you need the answers to. If I don't have the answer, I've got an abundant level of resources that will have the answer. And I promise you, I'll get you the answer you need to overcome that adversity and to overcome that challenge. Stop thinking that you have to white knuckle this. Stop thinking that you have to get through this on your own. Stop thinking that you have to be tough enough to handle this. Guess what's going to get us all through this whole thing? Community, connection, communication. So here's what I want you to promise me, that you're going to communicate with me over the course of the next week. And we're going to get those questions that you need answers to answered so that the adversity becomes an advantage for you. Guys, I wanted to keep these short. I wanted to keep these tight because I want you to listen and maybe even listen again. And I want you to implement everything I've said tonight so that you can begin the process of reclaiming your happiness, of rewiring and reprogramming your brain to understand that everything you need is inside of you and that together we can create the world that we want to live in. So thank you so much for joining tonight. Thank you for attending the first day of Mindset Revolution 2.0. My promise is this. If you'll implement the things that I told you tonight, the simplicity of those, and you'll show up again tomorrow, and you'll allow me to speak into your life again and give you some new strategies and new tips, we're going to fill that toolbox up with more valuable resources than you've ever had before in your life. And you're going to be able to create any level of happiness that you desire. I hope you took a lot of notes because that was a powerful training that will help you overcome your fears. Using those two simple strategies, you can turn your chaos into calm and start living that life of abundance that you so deserve and desire. Now, I want you to get ready for the next training. It's going to be discovering your inner compass and why your core values are so essential to living the life of your dreams, to living a fear-free life, to living in the abundance that you deserve. You're going to enjoy it, I promise.